So hello my friends. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do dodging and burning, but instead of doing it this time with brushes, we're actually gonna be using curves here in Affinity Photo, uh, which is a different kind of way to do it. It may be a little bit easier. Uh, I personally do it this way as opposed to using the brushes that I showcased in the previous video. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this way as well. So on screen, you'll see right here an image that I shot last month, this is our model Sierra. Uh, shot out here uh, in Las Vegas with my creative team. Um, we are using iPad 10.5 inch, uh, the iPad Pro. Apple Pencil, we're using the latest version of Affinity Photo, which is version 1.4.7, I believe. And uh, lo just loaded the image in as a TIFF file, recorded a previous video on how to do that, so check that out. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of just get started. So uh, we're kind of already loaded up. So. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a before and after so you can kind of see what we're going to be uh, how, what we're going to be really doing here. So it's in this group um, and I'll show you the before and after. So before, after, before, after. And then I'll also adjust the opacity um, on the group. Uh, let's see. Yes. So you can see the subtle adjustments. Well, it's not really subtle, it's actually pretty big. But uh, nonetheless, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm um, using curves this time instead of the actual dodge and burn brushes that are already here in uh, Affinity Photo, which are specifically meant to do this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just disable this for the time being so we have the default layer. Um, I did kind of uh, work on this image using frequency separation. Uh, that is not applicable to actually working on this technique. Um, I suppose for all intents and purposes, we can totally just merge all these layers down and uh, we can totally do the same thing. It's completely fine. We can just merge uh, all of these down and it, it'll be the same exact thing. Um, so it's just one layer. I'm going to show, I'm, I, that, that's important that I kind of highlight the fact that this is all, you can do this through frequency separation or you can do this with just one layer and just using the main image. Uh, it works exactly the same way. You'll notice that I, even though this is just one layer below, uh, the the technique that I'm showing you guys right now is also going to be applicable. So let me show you guys how to set this up. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going over into the filters tab, or sorry, the adjustment tab, and we're going to hit curves. And we're going to come down here into spline. And what we're going to do is to set up the dodging layer. So dodging is basically... Uh, lifting up shadows. It's also going to be um, increasing highlights, which could be used for contouring. Um, but dodging to set that up, we're going to actually go to the middle of the uh, this curves, and we're going to boost that up to uh, the actual amount. Doesn't really matter quite that much. I just usually do somewhere in the middle of the square, uh, so something like that. And then what we're going to do is go back to our layers panel. We're going to hit the plus button, and we're going to hit, hit empty mass layer so that it's not visible. Um, all right, so this is going to be our our dod or uh, yeah our dodging layer, um, and we're gonna hit up here, and I'm just gonna rename that so it's easier. So I'm gonna name this dodge, boom. So that's nice and easy, so we know exactly what we're working on. All right, and then to set up our burning layer, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna go back to, into adjustments, curves, spline, and we're gonna bring it down into this block right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, hold on. It didn't actually make a new, it didn't make a new one. So actually hit your low frequency layer and then go into curves, then do this, then spline, and then boom, in the middle of this block. All right, boom. And then same thing, we're gonna go hit the plus, empty mass layer, and we're gonna go right here and rename this to burn, cool. So we have those set up already. So we have the dodge and the burn layer. So my uh, practice when it comes to dodging and burning, especially when using this technique, I always do dodging first so that I can bring up the shadows and I can get the, the exposure of the face or the, um, or the chest and the rest of the body or the garments and the overall exposure of, of the entire image to where I want it to be. And then I can just drop down the highlights using the burn and then from that standpoint, using the mixture of both of them to contour. Uh, that's just kind of my workflow. I don't know if that would be your workflow, but that's just kind of what I what I do. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. So we're gonna go into the dodging um, adjustment layer first. We're gonna go down here to the mask. We're gonna go over here to our paintbrush tool and we're gonna set the color to white 100%. And the only thing that we're gonna do on both of these layers before we get started, because it's gonna be ridiculously applied, it's gonna be applied ridiculously heavy, uh, is we're gonna drop the opacity to both of them to 50%. Um, 
we're just gonna boom hit 50% and we're gonna go down here and boom hit 50% so that the opacity for both of the layers is at 50% um, and that's for the actual curve not for the mask layer we're leaving the mask at 100% opacity just want to make sure you guys are, are, are following along on that um, then we're gonna go to our mask layer and paintbrush and we're gonna basically leave this opacity here at 25% and adjust this as needed this effect is very strong, so you will definitely have to play around with the opacity. You could just kind of change the curves that are in these two these two adjustment layers. You can make the curves not as strong if you want and then go harder with the opacity here in the brush settings. I mean, they do the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you have to play around with the opacity one way or another. So uh, let's kind of get started here. Um, I'm gonna kind of just work on the areas that are gonna need to be fixed. And uh, as always, I kind of zoom a little bit further out when I'm doing dodging and burning so I can see what it's doing from a greater, a greater picture. But uh, we're gonna hit that mask and we're gonna just start. Uh, um, oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, it, it's, I set it up the wrong way, but it should be this guy. Oh no, oh yeah, right, okay, let me fix this real quick. Sorry guys, let me fix this real, real quick. It's not supposed to be doing that. They actually changed this to, the wrong thing. Uh, let me make sure this one's set up to the right. Okay, good. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Let's go back to where we were at. Uh, ex excuse me for that. It, it wasn't doing what I, what it's supposed to be set up to do. Okay, so you'll kind of just see me as I kind of go around um, starting to open up shadows. There's not a lot of shadows that need to be opened up on this image. Um, it may be kind of hard for you to follow along with what I'm doing, but the main thing that I'm doing is I'm evening out exposure right now uh, between the face, the neck, and then the chest. That's literally all I'm doing, and I'm using the dodge uh, curves right here, um, using that, that mask, and just painting on that mask with white uh, so that it becomes transparent, and I'm fixing the overall exposure of the image. That's all I'm doing. Uh, I'm not really doing anything crazy quite yet. We're just gonna be fixing the exposure of the neck and um, just some of these areas down here, and then some where some of these shadows are on the face just so that we have a good foundation to then contour on top of. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go down here to the burn tool or the burn curves um, curves mask. Uh, same thing as before. Uh, oh, I, I didn't talk about something. Um, make sure when you're doing this that you have your width for both tools set up between 200 to 300 pixels, uh, your opacity at 25%, flow 100%, hardness zero so it's soft, and then um, you don't need to touch the rest of these settings. Pr protect alpha, the force pressure, wet edges, you don't need to touch any of those settings. Uh, but make sure you have at least those and then you can adjust the uh, size of it as needed. Um, you can adjust the size of the, the, the brush width as needed. And then you can also adjust the opacity if you need to as well. But um, those are my standard settings when I'm doing this technique. Now we're in the, the, uh, the burn, um, the burn, curves adjustment, we're now going to start the, the foundations of contouring. So I'm gonna just hit up here um, on the forehead a little bit. I'm gonna hit this section of the cheek, this section of the cheek right here. I'm gonna make the opacity a little bit smaller. I mean the uh, width a little bit smaller. I'm gonna contour the lip, um, these little lip lines right here. I'm gonna do the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna just do the eyes gonna do the eyebrows so do the eyes do the eyebrows okay I'm gonna come back out I'm gonna make it bigger and we're gonna just kind of do the hair a little bit to add a little bit more oomph to the air hair a little bit more contrast we're gonna do a little bit of these flowers up here just add a little bit more depth to the flowers okay now we're gonna come down into the rest of the body and we're gonna hit the clavicles collarbones and this this neck uh, this neck section right here um, and maybe just like do a very large stroke and just kind of well actually no I didn't like that it was a little bit too heavy um, maybe just down here alright so let's showcase where we've gotten so far I'm gonna merge these into a separate or into a group and group those together and I'll show you guys the before and after Uh, okay, I don't know what, what it did right there. It was really weird. Oh, okay, my bad. Let me redo that merge into a group. Okay, there you go. So before and after. 
So before, after, before, after, okay. That right there was just fixing the overall exposure. Now we're gonna really go ham and we're gonna start contouring. Um, and then from there, we'll be good. So just on the burn mask, we're gonna just really start hitting it in some of these areas that we really wanna, we really wanna contour. And then from there, we'll, we'll pretty much be good. So we're gonna just really start smacking it. Just really start smacking it, really start smacking it, hitting it hard, hitting it hard right now, hitting it real hard. Add some more into that I mean, dimension. And then we're gonna go back onto the, uh, the dodge tool, and we're gonna really bring out those highlights, smack those highlights, man, ooh, we're smacking them. Smacking them! Hit them! <laughs> and do some, bring out the eyes a little bit as well. Hit that a little bit. And then we'll do a little bit on the neck too. And then now let's see the before and after. Oh, dang, son. Dang. Okay, now there you are. Um, now, if you think as, as I kind of went through that, if that was like, oh my God, that's like way too much. Hey, you know, just grab the group, um, make sure, it's weird when it does these selections, make sure the group is selected and then you can just adjust the opacity. Uh, I normally go really ham on the actual individual layers and then I just adjust the entire group. Uh, for me, 50% would be enough. I wouldn't really go to 100%. I thought that was way too much, but um, that, that right there is kind of what we're able to do in you know, a couple of minutes. Boom. Just the whole purpose of, of this technique really is to add more contouring and it's also to fix um, improper lighting technique, which is, you know, my, that's my own fault. Uh, I, I did shoot this image with the beauty dish and it has natural fall off from where it's positioned, which was in the, in the on, on the face in this image. Um, it's going to have natural fall off from there and the reflector may or may not have been positioned properly. So, uh, but we use this technique to, uh, fix improper lighting techniques if it's, cause it's not always perfect. And then from there we use it to, to contour the, the images, um, and contour to the faces to, uh, make the structure and make sure their bone structure is just that much better, man. So uh, that's that right there is how you use dodge and or you do dodge and burning using curves and affinity photo. Um, that's going to kind of wrap up today's video. As always, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, you know, while you're down there, mouse over and hit that bell button as well so you can be notified when we uh, do future videos and stay tuned and locked in on our channel as we drop in fresh hot content. Um, as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or you'd like to see us do a future video um, that we have the capability or skill set to do here at PhotoPX, by all means, reach out to us, leave us a comment, uh, we'll review every single comment. So uh, hit us up, man. If you want to see something that we have the ability to do, we'll happily do a video for you um, and put it on the radar and, and get that knocked out for you. Um, and then outside of that, if you want to reach out to us, hit us up on social media, um, always available on that if you have any questions or concerns. And that wraps up today's video, guys. Until next time, my friends, peace out.